Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the You Me We spread for the sign of Scorpio. I hope everyone is doing well. How y'all doing, gang? Okay, we're going to get right into this. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest, and you already know what to do. It's a love reading, so reverse them roles as needed, okay? The Scorpio Collective. How are they feeling towards love or towards their love interests? The Scorpio Collective. Thank you. They're at a crossroads. Okay. What else we got for the Scorpio Collective? How are they feeling towards love or towards their love interest? Thank you. They're at a crossroads about someone that they love. Okay. About a partnership. Okay. How is the person that's coming towards Scorpio feeling towards Scorpio? This energy and this reading. How are they feeling towards Scorpio at this time? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. Okay, the Empress. What else we got? Thank you. Okay. They want a new beginning, but they're not talking. They're not talking about it. They're not expressing it. Okay, with the Emperor. All right. Yeah. Somebody wants to rush in, okay, and they feel left out of cold right now. All right, let's get some mutual energies. What's going on between Scorpio and their person? What's going on between Scorpio and their person? Universe is working on it, okay? Moving them wheels along for the Scorpios. Okay, somebody is really, really stressed out about the situation. Excuse me. And they're having so much internal conflict with that five of wands. Scorpio and their person. Seven of wands. Somebody wants to be victorious. The lovers. Gemini energy. Okay. They don't want this to be over. And they're going to come in, but it's going to be slow motion. They feel stuck. Okay? They don't want this over. They feel stuck to this, this union. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, there you are. The tower. Okay? And there's some transformation going on here. Wheel of Fortune. Why is this here for the Scorpio in person? Thank you. Okay? Yeah, this breakup, the universe is moving this this uh this breakup to an end, to completion, it looks like with the world there. Okay. The nine of the nine of swords. Yeah, there's gonna be some justice in this situation. The nine of swords in reverse. Why is this here? Why is the nine of swords in reverse? For so the Scorpio on their person. Yeah, Scorpio kind of looks like they don't know if they want a relationship anymore. Yeah, somebody doesn't like being single. It's causing them so much stress being single. Okay. Some severe depression. Okay. Yeah, they stressed out. Mm. Five of Wands. Why is this here? Thank you. Give me one more, please. Got the King of Wands, that um, Leo energy. Is that Leo? Who is that? Oh, yeah, that is Leo. It's a lion back there. Was that a ram? But Leo and Aries is the sign, so, of the Wands. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, the Queen of Wands. So somebody's having some internal conflict here. They don't know whether to uh, cut this off or to, to, to stay with it. And it looks like that's you, Scorpio. You're at a crossroads about this whole relationship. You're thinking to yourself, I don't know if I want this or not. Or it's saying that you want to you wanna do it again. Okay? But your person wants a new beginning with you. and But they're not speaking up. Okay? Yeah, somebody's holding on. 
Seven of Wands. Why is this here? The Scorpio Collective and in person. <coughs> Their love interests. Yeah, they're going to be victorious. Somebody's going to be uh, victorious over their enemies against this whole situation. And they're going to be able to move forward. They're going to be able to come out of this depression and move forward. That's what I'm seeing. That's that cancer energy. Okay. The lovers. This Gemini energy. Why is this here? The soulmate energy. This card of partnership. Why is the lovers here? For the Scorpios. Oh, it's toxic. Give me one more, please. Someone's obsessed here. Yes, they are absolutely obsessed here. Somebody's obsessed with someone here, Scorpio. Because they find you so beautiful. Or you, them. Reverse the roles as needed. Okay? But someone's obsessed. With your beauty. Your grace. Yeah, Leo at the bottom of the, end, of, the, of the deck talking about um, being strong during this whole process because somebody's holding on. The Ten of Swords, like they're not cutting the, they're not cutting them um, ether cords. You guys are still connected energetically and they're not letting you go. Ten of Swords in reverse, why is this here? This card of someone not wanting to let it end. Because that's because they 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 have emotional contentment in this uh, situation in this relationship. They are they're happy in this relationship. They they want this. Yeah, somebody's holding on. They don't want it to be completely over. It may be over, but they don't want it to be completely over. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to double check that one. <laughs> Let's get a clarifier. Excuse me. <laughs> Wish fulfillment. They're coming. Give me one more, please. Help us understand. Thank you. Make sure that was the only one. Yeah, they're coming because they have a lot of passion for you. What was that? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's just sitting. They're just stagnant. They're just sitting with these emotions. They're sitting in these emotions. They're just like, um, this is my wish fulfillment. They're sitting in it, and, and, they, and, they, and they have a lot of passion. They're stirring in their passion for this whole connection, but they're not doing anything about it. That's your person, Scorpio. They're stirring in that passion and this love that they feel um, for you. But they're not taking any action. They're not communicating. They're not taking any action. Wow. Let's um, get one more for Scorpio. Scorpio, it looks like you're at a crossroads here. With um, the Two of Cups here. You're at a crossroads about this relationship. Let us get one more card. Help us further understand how the Scorpios are feeling towards their, their um, love interest. Let's get one more card. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, they they want it with the Knight of Cups, and, and they probably want it with the Gemini. Uh, they want it. They want to make that offer to that Gemini. Let's get one more card for the uh, Empress and the Emperor. How is this? How is this energy feeling towards Scorpio? Help us um, further understand. <coughs> Help us further understand. Thank you. Okay, how they're feeling towards Scorpio is um, they're, they're just going to walk away and just let it go. Okay, so Scorpio, you're the one who's holding on. Okay, that's what it looks like. But this person is stirring in their emotions. But you're willing to, to, to hold on and try to make it happen, bring it back together. But um, they're not, um, not going to say anything. They're going to just wallow in their their uh in their feelings for you, and they're not going to do anything. You're going to be successful moving forward, Scorpio. Yeah, that's why it says the universe is making this happen to 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 go ahead and put an end to this relationship, end this karmic cycle with this person, Scorpio. 
universe is making it happen, okay? Someone can't stand being apart from you. Well, you can't stand being apart from them, rather. You guys can't stand being apart from either one of you because they love you, too. They want you back, too. So you guys can't stand it. And it's causing internal conflict on both ends. You're being told to put down the burdens and walk into your happiness. You have to be strong, Scorpio. Let's get some messages for Scorpio. Oh, let's get some more messages for Scorpio. Anything else? Any other messages for Scorpio? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, because the Ace of Wands, Scorpio wants that new passionate beginning. They, they want to do it over and it's stressing them out. Scorpio, I'm sorry, huh? Okay, the page of swords. <coughs> okay, are they watching them or are they are they standing in their power? Sitting in regret with the five of cups. They miss you, cross watcher, or you miss them. Yeah, they feel like a, the Scorpios feel like an injustice has been done to them. With that Libra in reverse. And the, and the Ace of Cups. Their heart is broken. Because this relationship didn't work. So they're just going to walk away. The universe is orchestrating this, Scorpio. Yeah. And it's time for you to go on your new beginning. I can't make it up. It's time, Scorpio. Yeah. You have other offers, but you're not paying attention. Pay attention, Scorpio. Go after something new. Because for this person to just be sitting in their feelings, knowing that they care about you and they want you like that, and they're not saying anything, they're, they're too immature for you anyway. We're going to go to the message cards. Uh, what would this energy like to say to the Scorpio Collective? Hold on a second, y'all. <coughs> I'm sorry. That's disgusting, but it was getting on my nerves. What was what was this energy like to say to, to uh, the Scorpio Collective? What would this energy like to say to the Scorpio Collective? I am afraid to contact you. I told you. That's childish as ever. Okay, what they're saying to you, Scorpio, is I'm afraid to contact you. Okay. I wonder if you're happy without me. And I want to feel that way again. Okay. All right. What would Scorpio like to say to this energy here in this reading? What would Scorpio like to say to this energy? You and I were too young. Mm-hmm. Yep, you, you guys weren't in the same place in life. Scorpio, like to say anything else to this energy? Thank you. I knew that I crossed the line with you. Okay, so Scorpio, you did something to run this person off. Okay. I replay our conversations over and over. Let's go to the messages of closure. Let's see if anything comes through. What would uh, this, this, this energy like to say to the Scorpio Collector? The, the energy in this reading. Who's thinking about Scorpio? Who wants Scorpio? What would they like to say? I am sorry that I criticized you. Okay. One more time around for this energy in this reading. What would they like to say to Scorpio Collective? I see all that you do for others, so they're watching you. Okay? Scorpio, would you like to say anything? Would Scorpio like to say anything to this energy in this reading? From this deck. I'm with you all the time. So Scorpio thinks about you all the time. I am going through my life review. So 
So Scorpio, you're reflecting on where you've been, how far you've come, and you're trying to put an end to this. You don't know whether you should stay in this situation or go, and, and you're reflecting and so that you can learn from your mistakes, learn from any lessons that you were supposed to receive from this individual, which is a very good practice to do so that you can let them go. Okay, because it doesn't look like this person is mature enough for you anyway. All right. Any messages from this energy to Scorpio Collective? The energy in this reading. Would you like to say anything to the Scorpio Collective, to the Scorpio energy in this reading? Would they like to say anything to the Scorpio Collective in this reading? You are always so sweet. Okay? So they probably used to being with people who dogged them all the time, who talk down on them, cuss them out, kick them out, beat them up. They might be used to that type of energy. They're not used to a genuine, you know, nice person as, as most Scorpios are. Loving in the in loving energy. You know that loving individual. You know, that's how we are. We we loving. Would Scorpio like to say anything to this energy in this reading? From this deck here. Does Scorpio like to say anything? To this energy in this reading. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I didn't fall in love with you. Because I have always loved you. And always will. Wow. I want to follow you through all time and all universes. Scorpio loves you to death and beyond. Wow. Let's get you some advice, Scorpio, real quick from the uh, Romance Answers. Any advice for the Scorpio energy in this reading? Thank you. Take action. If you're going to go get, make your offer to this person, go do it. Get it over with so you can move on with your life. So you can get out this trap. Scorpio Collective in this reading. Any advice for them? Thank you. It's up to you. That's what it's telling you. It's all up to you, Scorpio. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yes. Whatever you were thinking. Yes. Let's go to the African Goddess Rising. Any advice for the um, Scorpio Collective regarding this spread? Thank you. Live out loud. Be yourself. Don't let nobody else uh, dim your light. Okay? Don't let this individual uh, make you uh, close off your heart chakra. Don't do that. Keep moving forward. Keep living life. Keep being that bright, bubbly light that you are. Anything else? Any other advice from Scorpio Collective in this reading? This energy in this reading? Any more? Any more advice? Awakening. Yeah. You're awakening to the fact of the matter. What's going on in this, in this, in, in this situation with you and your person? You're awakening to that. Embrace it. Okay. One more time. Scorpio Collective. All right. Romance Angel Deck. Scorpio Collective. Any advice for them? Any advice for the Scorpio Collective regarding the spread? Yeah, because your person is just going to go ahead and walk away. Although they are uh, enamored with you. They, they're, they're just going to walk away. Yeah, um, for whatever reason. I don't know what you did, but they're going to walk away. But you need to stay opt optimistic, Scorpio, about your love life. Like I said, uh, uh, positive thinking, faith, and faith will bring you romance. Okay? Enga engagement. 
Dang. Why can't I see this card? My goodness gracious. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. <laughs> hey, anything's possible, okay? That could be with the, the that old energy or a new energy. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, okay? The next holiday that's coming up is Halloween, in, in, in the States anyway. Very soon. Clear to decide, decide what you want so that it comes to, comes to you now. Very soon. Don't focus on what you don't want. Want focus on what it is that you want. I'm getting sleepy, y'all. Forgive me. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Go for it. Take action. Scorpio, do what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. Let me see something real quick. I like to go to the tarot. Um, is there a new love coming in for Scorpio? Is there any new love coming in for Scorpio this year? Okay. Sagittarius came out. Okay. Um, Sagittarius came out, and that's the card of healing. So maybe after you heal some things, King of Wands, get your mind right. Okay. Aries Leo, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Get your mind right. After you heal, that may be the signs Aries Leo Sagittarius or is telling you uh, to get your stuff in order. Because that's also the business king. Is there love coming in for Scorpio? sun came out that's yes a messages of love is going to come in and it's going to uh, be a complete surprise okay all right you know i love y'all because i'm a scorpio too i had to do that extra for y'all and it's going to be an equal give and take love okay balance yourself and don't rush in take your time with the next one okay get to know who they are their background okay all right it's time to let it go, Scorpio. Yeah. All right, Scorpio, that is your reading. Thank you so much for coming to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. You know I love you guys, and you guys have a wonderful evening. I will talk to you soon. Take care.